Hello dear students, welcome to the botany class. Today's topic is classification of algae and types of pigmentation. In the year 1945, Fritz classified the algae into 11 classes on the basis of types of pigments, nature of reserve food materials and mode of reproduction etc. So this system of classification is also called as Fritz system of classification. Okay, and according to Fritz system of classification, algae includes 11 classes. They are Chlorophyceae, Xanthophyceae, Chrysophyceae, Bacillariophyceae, Cryptophyceae, Dinophyceae, Chloromonadinae, Eugleninae, Pheophyceae, Rhodophyceae, and Mixophyceae. So these are the 11 classes under algae according to the Fritz system of classification, right? Okay, now let us discuss about the different classes of algae one by one in detail. Moving on to the first class of algae that is Chlorophyceae. So the Chlorophyceae members have some of the characters such as the majority of the members of the Chlorophyceae are found in freshwater habitats whereas a few members are found in marine habitat. So majority of the members are found in freshwater habitats and a very few species are found in marine habitat. Okay, that is the first character of chlorophyceae member. Moving on to the second character, the members contain pigments such as chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Along with the chlorophylls, they also contain carotenoids. Carotenoids is nothing but the yellow pigment. So, the chief pigments present in chlorophyceae members are chlorophylls as well as carotenoids. This is about the second character. Moving on to the third character. Because of the presence of uh, chlorophyll, these chlorophyceae members uh, have the ability to synthesize their own food using sunlight. Okay. So, during photosynthesis, carbohydrate is prepared. So, in this chlorophyceae member, the food is stored, I mean the extra amount of food is stored in the form of starch. Okay. So, the starch is the reserve food material in the chlorophyceae member. Okay. Is that clear? Now, the next character is about the structure. The members may be unicellular or heterotrichous filamentous. So, what do you mean by unicellular? Unicellular means if a plant body is made up of single cell, once again I will repeat, if a plant body is made up of single cell, then it is called as unicellular. Then what do you mean by heterotrichous? Heterotrichous means the plant body contains two types of branches, namely erect and prostrate. Once again I will repeat, heterotrichous means the plant body contains two types of branches, Erect branch means straight branch, branch and prostrate branch means horizontal branch. So here the members, uh, I mean the structure of the members may be unicellular or heterotrichous filament. Is that clear? Coming to the cell structure, each cell of the member externally is covered over by a layer called cell wall. So, cell wall is present in all the chlorophyceae member. And this cell wall is composed of cellulose. So, cellulose is the wall material found in the cell wall of the chlorophyceae member. Is that clear? Okay. Now, internally, I mean next to the cell wall, the cell contains uh, cytoplasm which is surrounded by the plasma membrane and in the cytoplasm, the cell contains the starch storage organ called pyrenoids. So, pyrenoids are nothing but the starch storage organ. Okay, And this pyrenoid is present in the cytoplasm of the cell or the matrix of the cell. So, this is about the cell structure. And here, the cells are motile. Motile means have the ability to... To move. So cells are motile and for the moment they possess equal flagella. So here the motile cells have equal flagella. 
Moving on to the reproduction. Here sexual reproduction ranges from isogamous to advanced oogamous type. Now what do you mean by isogamous, oogamous and all? Okay. So under sexual reproduction, what do you mean by sexu sexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction means it involves the fusion of male and female gametes. Right. Okay. Under sexual reproduction there are three types. Isogamous, anisogamous and oogamous. Now, isogamous means here in this type of reproduction, both uh, the male and the female gametes are morphologically similar. Both the gametes, both male and the female gametes are, they are morphologically similar, means they are externally similar. And these gametes are called as isogametes and the type of reproduction is called as isogamous. Is that clear? Isogamous type of reproduction means here the gametes uh, both male and the female gametes are morphologically or externally they are similar so that it is called as isogamous type of sexual reproduction. Then what do you mean by anisogamous? Anisogamous means here the gametes the male and the female gametes are morphologically different. They are externally different. Whereas in isogamous, the gametes are similar. Whereas in uh, anisogamous, the gametes are different. They are morphologically different. And the type of uh, reproduction is called as anisogamous. And the third type is oogamous. In both the cases, in uh, isogamous as well as in anisogamous, uh, the gametes are motile, means mo both the gametes contains flagella. Whereas in oogamous type, the male gamete is motile, means they contains flagella, whereas the female gamete is constant, that means flagella is absent in the female gamete. So that uh, this female gamete is constant or stationary and the type of reproduction which involves uh, these type of gametes are called as oogamous type. Is that clear? So in chlorophycin member the sexual reproduction may be isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous type. So these are some of the important characters of class chlorophycin. Now let's move on to the examples. Chlamydomonas, Volvox. Clavrella. So, in this slide, you can see the pictures of uh, Chlamydomonas, Chlorella, and Volvox. So, Chlamydomonas and Chlorella they are unicellular members, whereas Volvox it is colonial, it is in the form of colony. Okay, so this is about the class Chlorophyceae. Is that clear? Now, moving on to the second class that is class Xanthophyceae. So, some of the characters of Xanthophyceae are as follows. Uh, most of the members are found in freshwater habitats, whereas a few members are found in marine habitat. So, majority of the members like Chlorophycin members, majority of the Xanthophycin members are found in freshwater habitats, whereas a very few species are found in marine habitat. And here the chief pigments are uh, sorry, the chief pigment is yellow xanthophyll. Xanthophyll is the chief pigment present in xanthophycin member. And this xanthophyll is nothing but the yellow pigment. And the reserve food material found in xanthophycin member is oil. Whereas in case of chlorophyceae, it is starch. So in xanthophyceae, food is stored in the form of oil. Coming to the structure, so the members may be unicellular to simple filamentous. So what do you mean by filamentous form? Filamentous means if many cells are joined together to form a uh, chain like structure. So if the uh, plant body, I mean in the plant body, if many cells are joined together to form a chain like structure, then it is called as filamentous nature. So, in Xanthophyceae, the members may be unicellular or they are filamentous and the filament is simple here. Okay. Coming to the cell wall, like chlorophycin member, in Xanthophyceae also, cell wall is present, but this cell wall is composed of pectin. 
whereas in chlorophyceae it is composed of cellulose right whereas in xanthophyceae it is pectin or pectic substance and pyrenoids here are entirely absent because the reserve food is here oil not the starch so the pyrenoids are absent here and the cells are motile and contains two unequal flagella whereas in chlorophyceae the flagella are equal whereas here flagella are unequal coming to the reproduction sexual reproduction is rare if it occurs it is of isogamous type now what do you mean by isogamous means uh, it involves uh, uh, two gametes male and female gametes and both the gametes are similar okay so these are the uh, characters some of the important characters of class chlorophyce sorry class xanthophyceae and uh, example for this class is voucheria so this is the picture of voucheria moving on to the third class chrysophyceae here most of the members are found in cold fresh water and a very few species are found in marine habitat majority of the members are found in cold fresh water whereas a very few species are found in marine habitats main pigments are chlorophyll a and chlorophyll c along with the chlorophylls phycoxanthin is present so the chief pigments found in chrysophyceae are chlorophylls and phycoxanthin food is stored uh, food is stored in the form of fat and leucosin so the reserve food is fat and leucosin coming to the structure so the structure of the plants may be unicellular and they are motile to branched filamentous in xanthophyceae it is simple filamentous structure whereas in chrysophyceae it is branched filamentous okay and here also the cells are motile contains unequal flagella and cells commonly contains one or two chromatophores what do you mean by chromatophores chromatophores are nothing but the pigment containing structure once again i'll repeat chromatophores are nothing but pigment containing structure so in the cells of the chrysophyceae one or two chromatophores are present sexual reproduction is rare but if occurs it is of isogamous type okay example chrysophera so this is the picture of chrysophera which comes under class chrysophyceae moving on to the next class basilariophyceae here members are found in all kinds of fresh water sea soil and terrestrial habitats so members are found in fresh water as well as marine water and also in the terrestrial habitats the chromatophores are yellow or golden brown what do you mean by chromatophores chromatophores are nothing but the pigment containing structure so these chromatophores are yellow or golden brown here and food is stored in the form of fat and volutin so fat and volutin are the reserve food materials found in basilariophyceae so structure here all the members are unicellular or colonial so colonial means they are found in the form of colony okay so all the members are are unicellular or colonial and here the cell wall is present but the cell wall is composed of two types of substances they are silica and pectic substances okay silica and pectin or the pectic substances are the wall materials found in found in basilariophyceae members about the reproduction here sexual reproduction is of special type and it occurs by the fusion of protoplast of the individuals 
it occurs by the fusion of protoplasts now what do you mean by protoplasts in the cell except the cell wall all the contents is called as protoplast so in basilioriophysia sexual reproduction it takes place by the fusion of protoplast okay and example for this pinnularia or uh, can uh, commonly called as diatoms so this is the picture of pinnularia next class cryptophysia the members of the cryptophysia are found both in marine as well as in freshwater habitats here chromatophores show diverse pigmentation it may be some shades of brown and chromatophores are usually parietal parietal means they found near the walls of the cell chromatophores are found near the walls of the cells so hence it is parietal and it contains pigments like uh, uh, some shades of brown color and here reserve food materials are solid carbohydrates or in some cases it is starch coming to the structure here the cells are motile and uh, at most advanced forms are coccoid coccoid means they are nearly spherical in nature the cells are nearly spherical in nature hence it is called as coccoid and the cells are motile because of the presence of unequal flagella the flagella are slightly unequal here about the reproduction reproduction it is of uh, isogamous type in the reported cases it's a type of sexual reproduction an example for this is crumonas crumonas so this is the picture of uh, crumonas and you can clearly observe the flagella so next class that is dinophysia here the majority of the members are found in marine habitats and few are also found in freshwater forms majority of them are found in sea water whereas a few members are found in freshwater habitats chromatophores are here dark yellow brown etc and contain a number of special pigments there are several types of pigments found in uh, dinophysian members the food is stored in the form of uh, starch and oil coming to the structure plants are unicellular motile to branched filamentous reproduction here sexual reproduction it takes place it takes place by isogamous type an example for this dinophysian member is ceresium okay moving to the next class that is chloromonadinae here all the members are found in freshwater habitats chromatophores are bright green in color and contain an excess of xanthophyll the reserve food material is oil coming to the structure plants are motile with the two equal flagella the example for this member uh, for this class is vacuolaria so this is the picture of vacuolaria next class euglenine they are found only in the freshwater habitats and here chromatophores are pure green and each cell has several chromatophores once again i'll repeat each cell has several chromatophores and chromatophores are pure green the reserve food materials are polysaccharide and paramyelin about the structure the cells are motile and flagella may be one or two arising from the base of the canal like invagination at the front end the members contain complex 
vacuolar system and a large and prominent nucleus there is no sexual reproduction only asexual reproduction takes place here an example for this class is euglena so this is the structure of uh, euglena next class phyophyceae here majority of the members are found in marine habitats the chief pigments are chlorophyll a chlorophyll c carotenes and xanthophylls reserve food materials are mannitol laminarin and fats coming to the structure the plants may be simple filamentous to bulky parenchymatous forms so uh, plant body may be simple filamentous to bulky parenchymatous several plants attain gene size means large size and possess external and uh, internal differentiation coming to the reproduction it ranges from uh, isogamous to oogamous type and motile gametes have two laterally attached flagella in the life cycle these pheophysian members show varied types of alternation of generation examples are ectocarpus and sargasm moving on to the next slide that is class rhodophyceae here few members are fresh water and others are marine in marine habitats coming to the pigments so the chief pigments are here phycoerythrin which is nothing but the red pigment phycocyanin means blue pigment along with these pigments chlorophyll a chlorophyll d and carotenes are also present the reserve food is floridian starch structure of the filament or structure of the plant body ranges from simple filamentous to complex type and cells are motile cells i mean motile structures are not known here coming to the reproduction in sexual reproduction it is of oogamous type oogamous means here male uh, gamete is motile whereas the female gamete is uh, uh, non motile the male organ produces non motile gametes and the female organ has long receptive neck after sexual reproduction special spores called carpospores are produced here example batrachospermum and polysiphonia so these are the pictures of batrachospermum and polysiphonia next class mixophyceae the members are found in uh, sea and freshwater habitats the main pigments are chlorophylls carotenes xanthophylls and phycocyanin and phycoerythrin the ratio of the last two pigments means phycocyanin and phycoerythrin exhibit color variation commonly blue green the reserve food materials are here sugars and glycogen coming to the structure simple type of cell to filamentous and some of the filamentous forms show false or true branching very rudimentary nucleus means undeveloped nucleus no proper chromatophores the photosynthetic pigments being diffused throughout the peripheral position and here no motile stages are seen coming to the reproduction there is no sexual reproduction only asexual reproduction seen in uh, mixophysian member the examples are oscillatoria and nostoc so these are the pictures of oscillatoria and nostoc so these are all about the classification and the types of pigmentation in algae hope you all understood the class thank you